In the previous session, we were discussing about kingdom plantae and kingdom animal. Under five uh, system, uh, five uh, kingdom of classification, some other organisms are remained which do not belongs to any of the kingdom, such as one is viruses, viroids, as well as the lichen. These are the organisms or this will not belong to any of the classification. These are non-living substances like and which exhibit the character of living organisms. They are like non-living substances but they show or they exhibit living characteristic when they are within the host or when they are in their favorable host they show the characteristics of living organisms according to the five system of classification they are kept out because they do not match with the characteristics of any other uh, kingdoms they are considered as the connecting link between living and non-living substances the viruses these are non-living non-cellular and they are crystallizable nucleoproteins which are obligate parasite they are obligate parasite means that is nothing but they are uh, infectious they are causing diseases they are harming the organisms they are non-cellular they do not have a definite cell they are crystallizable and nucleoproteins which are obligate parasite and the next the term virus or the venom is nothing but the meaning of that is poisonous fluid it is nothing but a toxic or the poisonous fluid was given by Pasteur. Ivanos observed certain microbes smaller than bacteria. Bacteria itself is a very smallest organisms that should be keenly observed under microscope. But these viruses are still smaller, still minute than the bacteria and they are responsible for the tobacco mosaic diseases. That means the tobacco mosaic disease is caused or seen in the tobacco plants. These viruses are called as tobacco mosaic virus. These viruses will infect the plant and the mosaic like patches is caused due to these virus on the leaves of tobacco plant and hence they are termed as tobacco mosaic viruses. Bijanek demonstrated the sap of disease. Tobacco plants spread on healthy plants caused infections. He referred it as contagium vivum fluid. He considered that TMV as the contagium vivum fluid, fluidium. Why? Because from one tobacco that is from one infected tobacco plant to the next tobacco plant, the disease was spread. That is what he is telling. When he demonstrated the sap of diseases, that is nothing but the fluid, the sap of diseases, tobacco plant, that fluid was taken and that was sprayed on a healthy plant and that caused infection to the healthy plant. And that is why he referred it as Contagious vivum fluidum. And W. and Stanley showed that viruses are crystallizable. They are, Stanley said they were crystallizable. These are the things of history regarding the viruses. And living and non living characteristic, major living and non living characteristics of viruses are they possess. Nucleic acid DNA or RNA, but 
they do not but they never have the boat that means as a genetic material the viruses may have either dna or either they may have rna but both the genetic materials that is both the dna and rna are not present in viruses the nucleic acid core is surrounded by protein the nucleic acid that is either dna or rna is coated or surrounded by the protein coat it is surrounded by the protein coat and that protein coat is called as capsid the nucleic acid either dna or rna that is coated or surrounded by the protein coat and that coat is called as capsid the capsid is made up of proteins that's what we said protein coat the capsid is made up of proteins and the subunits of proteins present is called as capsomeres we'll get a very clear picture when we see the uh, example i'll just explain here capsid is made up of proteins and the subunits of that proteins are called as capsomeres the capsomeres are arranged helically that means in a twisted manner the capsomeres or the protein subunits are arranged helically that means if this is the genetic material or if this is the nucleic acid either dna or rna the capsomeres or the protein subunits are arranged helically in a twisted manner that is called as helically or polyhedrally it is arranged i'll show the picture that you will get a clear idea viruses infect the host cell the viruses infect the host cell and takes control of the metabolic machinery of the host for example if this is a host cell the virus is entered and that virus genetic material the virus genetic material will take control of the metabolic machinery of the host metabolic machinery that means where the metabolic activities are taking place that is controlled or the control of that is taken over by the genetic material of the virus and the virus will replicate themselves and later gets liberated destroying the host cell for example if this is a host cell the virus has entered the genetic material of the virus is destroying or it is taking control of the metabolic machineries and later this virus genetic material will be replicated it will replicate within the host cell within the host cell and gets liberated and that is ruptured or that cell may get ruptured and that is liberated by destroying by rupturing or by destroying the host cell the viruses can be crystallized and they can be stored viruses can be crystallized and stored these crystals are inherent entities these are inherent entities they can pass through the bacterial filter paper that means they are so small in their size even these can also pass through the bacterial filter paper this is about the characteristics of the viruses and how do they behave next the classification of viruses the viruses are classified into three different types that is one is plant virus and second one is animal virus 
and the last one is bacterial virus. We shall see the first one that is plant virus. They are generally contain single stranded, this is not standard, stranded, S-T-R-A-N-D-E-D. They are single, they are having single stranded RNA as a genetic material. That means the viruses which infect the plants or which causes diseases in plants are having genetic material but that genetic material either DNA or RNA will be only in single strand. They consist of only RNA as the genetic material. The plant viruses are having the genetic material as RNA and that RNA genetic material is in this single strand, single stranded form. The plant's viruses do not have the genetic material as DNA. They have only RNA as their genetic material. And uh, about animal virus, the genetic material is, even here it is a single stranded. There is a small minor typing mistake. Please do excuse. It is stranded. S-T-R-A-N. D E D. They have typed as standard. It's not standard. Stranded. The genetic material in animal virus also single stranded RNA or double stranded RNA or double stranded DNA. That means in animal viruses, the viruses are still much developed compared to the plants viruses the viruses that is which are infecting the animals may be single stranded rna or they may have the double stranded rna or also they may consist of double stranded dna the bacterial virus their genetic material is also double stranded dna we are not uh, mentioning as rna here Bacterial viruses are having only DNA, they are only in the form of DNA as a genetic material and that too is in the double stranded form. The viruses causes diseases like mumps, small foxes, her herpes, AIDS and influenza like this. Numerous diseases are caused by the viruses. In plants, they bring about the symptoms like leaf rolling. The leaf will be spread greenish and healthy in a healthy plants. But in the plants where the infection has taken place, the leaves of those plants will be in rolling form. Leaf curling, leaf will be curled. And mosaic diseases and stunted growth is seen in the plants and dwarfism etc that means the plants do not obtain a normal healthy height it will be very short and that is what we are calling it as uh, dwarfing or very stunted growth in the plants etc you see and here is an example of plant uh, virus as well as the bacterial virus one is example of plant virus is PMV, that is PMV is an example for uh, plant virus. The abbreviation of PMV is tobacco mosaic virus. Why the name is given as tobacco mosaic virus? This virus is infecting the tobacco plants and they are showing the mosaic patches on the leaves. Hence the name tobacco mosaic virus. This virus has the genetic material. It has a single stranded genetic material that is RNA nucleotides. What we are seeing in green color that is nothing but RNA and that RNA or the genetic material is encoded or covered by the protein code helically. Proteins are arranged helically 
and this we call it as protein coat we call it as capsid we call it as capsid and each subunit of capsid this single subunits of capsids are called as capsomeres we discussed in uh, the previous slide that subunits are called as capsomeres and the next one is an example for animal virus that is bacteriophage uh, sorry this is an example of the bacterial virus that means the viruses which are infecting the or harming the bacteria example is bacteriophage example is bacteriophage and it is having a head which is in the hexagonal in or polygonal in shape head is present and within the head we are observing the sectioning part that is dna as a genetic material and the next lower part of the head a small extension what we are observing which is shown in the yellow color is nothing but the small neck of that bacteriophage and the next extended uh, part is called as sheath between the neck and the sheath there is a presence of a structure called as collar and the last portion of this uh, sheath is nothing but base plate from that there is a the rise of tail fiber this is the structure of bacteriophage which, which we took as an example for bacterial virus in the previous slide so this is about the tmv as well as the bacteriophage so we have completed uh, uh, discussing about uh, kingdom monera protista mycota kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia and also uh, the classifications and examples of kingdom monera protista and mycota the classification of kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia will be uh, discussed uh, in detail in the next coming chapters so we have completed the chapter biological classification